Oh boy, you guys ready for the worst cooking you guys have ever seen in your life or what? Are you taking our orders? Absolutely not. But today, we are going to make the most epic grilled cheese you guys have ever seen in your life, okay? This is something that I've never tried before either. I saw it on a YouTube video. But we're gonna be trying different cheeses because the lady at the store sold us on like three different cheeses. Fromage d'Afrois, Afnois with truffles, Gruyere, uh, from Germany, we got Fontina, Danish Fontina cheese. We got some green onions, some uh, some jalapenos, cilantro, shivakadu, honey, some lime juice, and uh, some chives. We got our good old uh, our uh, ninja blender, not to be confused with uh, Tyler Fortnite Levens. This is the other ninja blender. We got to start with this green sauce first. Probably should look at the YouTube video to remember how to do this, but I think I know what I'm doing. All right, how strong are chives? Eh, chives are pretty strong. We're gonna cut a little bit of the stem, but we're gonna keep some of it for some extra green flavor. Okay, we wanna cut off some of, there's like some dead ends on here. Get some of that garbaggio out of here. We've assembled our bowl of greens. Look at that. Look how green that is, dude. I already goofed. I already goofed. Dude, I forgot to put the lime juice in there, bro. I don't I don't want to spoil the surprise. Oh, you're surprising me. Man. Let's go, man. Yeah, let's go. Do not try this at home, chat. This is a professional technique. Boom. Free blender here, and uh, look, watch how green this gets. Watch, watch how very epic this is, dude. Dude, I feel like the sauce is way more green in the YouTube video too, so maybe I should put, it might, it might need more cilantro. It's good, I like it, I just don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Can't top Gordo's? Listen, man, this is going to blow Gordo's grilled cheese out of the water. My cheese is actually gonna melt. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna grab two prime pieces of Asiago cheese bread scratch made. All right, chat, yeah, what am I? An idiot sandwich. All right, now how fine do we want this cheese? I don't think we need to grate it that far. Yeah, grate that cheese, baby. Surely this won't spill everywhere. I think we just put the cheese on here. We're gonna hit this with the, we're gonna, we're gonna be very plentiful with this cheese. Are we ready to begin, chat? So, biggest thing with this is we gotta put we gotta put the sauce on here. We're gonna hit this with the little. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, oh, dude, the cloggage. So I'm going to only apply mayo after the first flip, dude. Oh, I wish you guys could hear this sizzle. Hold on, let me see if I can bring the mic over here. Yeah. All right, first flip. Please don't screw this up. Okay, because it's starting to get a little bit of color on there and now we want to apply our debuff. The mayonnaise. Get that a nice little spread on here. Look at the color on that bad boy. Oh my God, you can't get that with butter. Oh, you guys want that? You guys want the ASMR? Yo, chat, don't forget to use code SWEAT at checkout. All right, let's, I wanna try this cheese by itself. I don't normally try like cold cheese. I've never had Fontina before. It's actually pretty good. Eh, eh, eh. Dude, cheese is so much better melted. Oh, look at that. Look how perfect that is. I have arrived for the goods. Mamma mia, dude. First for y'all. First bites y'all's. Ooh. <laughs> Good or bad? I'm not banging. Oh my god. Alright, give it it's a rating also, out of 10. It's also burning my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> just, and this was the cheese that we got from the store there, right? Oh yeah, that's the so Fontina. Was this the one from Germany or the one from France? That's that's the, the Danish uh, Fontina. Oh my god. Oh, 
Honest review. That's why somebody just orgasmed in my mouth. Yeah. All right, chat. Now here comes the most infamous meal of all time, okay? I've been hyping up this burger for the longest time. This is going to be the best burger you've ever made. It's actually a spin-off of Gordon Ramsay's recipe, but I made it better. Dude, this, why? Dude, who seals? Then you slice a pepper jack cheese, and then, uh, Obviously burger, and that's, that's pretty much it. Well, don't I need 55 more ingredients because these other recipes tell me so. No. Okay, another important thing that you'll need, you want parchment paper, because we are going to make these smash burgers, okay? Grab pretty much any pan, anything that has a flat surface on the bottom, okay? You're gonna grab your beef in a nice little ball. Should be about a handful or so gonna form it into a ball. My hands are different sizes than yours. Roughly, this will do. Be gentle with the balls. First things first, we need to start cooking the egg because when you cook eggs, low and slow is the way to go. A nice little crack right there and go shwoop. Now here's what's important. You're gonna grab CB. <laughs> <laughs> Am I being grabbed? You're gonna grab the little, little burger thing. You're gonna, you're gonna hit it with a little slap Ooh. and you're gonna press it down. Yeah, smash that bad boy, but you gotta make sure it's about the size that'll fit on the bun. It's gonna shrink a little bit. So overextend by just a little bit, and then peel that bad boy off. One part mayo to like, I mean, it depends how spicy you like it. Put as much mayo, uh, sriracha in there as you like. Just kind of mix it up and taste test it. Very important though, sriracha mayo is a must. I'm gonna turn down the egg because we don't, we want the, the yolk to be runny. This guy's ready for a flip. You only get one chance at it because you don't want to bust the yolk. Flip that egg. You have to flip the egg, bro. If you you don't have to, it just depends how runny you like your egg. One overcooked egg. <laughs> when I do this cross section, y'all be like, I'm sorry. Okay? Cheese on there. Now you can do one of two things here. If you really want to make sure the cheese is nice and melted, you can use a pot lid and cover it. If you want to get extra fancy, you can pour a little bit of water on here and then uh, cover it. It allows it to steam the cheese. You forgot to flip the egg, it's still raw on one side. <laughs> Does this look raw to you? A good amount of sriracha mayo on both sides. Get it nice and lubed up on the bun here. And we, uh, there it is. Fried egg on top. Look at that, boys. Mm. Look at that. Look how beautiful that bad boy is. This is what it means. This is what happiness is. <laughs> Rate the burger out of 10, dude. I highly recommend that you cook this for yourself. I'm not capping, I'm not just saying that. Shit, I'm not going front. If it was bad, I'd let you know. Oh! <laughs> 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 I've never heard somebody have so much fun in Destiny 2. Mamma mia pizzeria! That was hot. He doesn't miss on these. When he retires one day from playing Destiny, this is his calling. I told you, chat. Ordo ain't got sh. And hey, you know what they say, boys? You are what you eat, you know what I mean? I am a burger. Chat, what are the odds that you guys actually go out and try that, that burger that I cooked? I know, like, of the two, you guys would be more likely to try the burger. Success. I know that stuff was fantastic. Did you have leftovers, or they uh, was everything consumed that you made? No, there's still, there's stuff left. What's on the menu today? Bedtime. <laughs> <laughs>